If you look at the man, John Wycliffe, uh, he lived from 1328 to 1384. He was a man that stood against Rome. He didn't believe in the Catholic Eucharist. He refused to believe that the Church of Rome was the head of all other churches. He refused to believe that Peter had more power than any of the other apostles. He didn't believe in the Catholic uh, confessional. Now, while he was not uh, brutally killed like the others, he was severely persecuted. Oh, yes, he was. It was unbelievable, actually. You know, it, it's amazing that one of the Roman Catholic councils, it's called the Council of Constance. That's what they do. They call councils. <laughs> and they declared this guy, uh, Wycliffe, John Wycliffe, to be a heretic on May 4th, 1415. The guy's long dead, okay? So they're, ha they're having a council and says, he's a heretic. And, and they banned his writings because he wrote many uh, different things. So basically, they excommunicated him retroactively. And basically, they say he was a, a forerunner of Protestantism. So they decreed that Wycliffe's, uh, Wycliffe's work should be burned and his bodily remains removed from consecrated ground. Can you imagine this? So this order confirmed by Pope Martin V, it was carried out in 1428. Wycliffe's corpse was exhumed and burned and the ashes cast into the River Swift, which flows through Lutterworth. Now, this is unbelievable stuff, folks. So here's over 40 years later, after this guy died, they exhumed the body. They take the bones out of, of the, the casket or the box, or whatever he was buried in. They, they burn the bones and they take the ashes from those bones and they threw it into the river Swift. Is this unbelievable stuff, folks? This shows you the vindictiveness, the hatred, the darkness of the system of Roman Catholicism. That is demonic of ever anything was called demonic that is this is a man of god that was standing for truth the devil hates the truth don't ever forget that 